Bianca, thank you. And now at five, new protests in Virginia calling for the removal of Confederate monuments. Protesters took to the streets in Richmond late last night near the city's historic Monument Avenue, home to a Robert E. Lee Memorial. Police kept an eye on that situation, though no violence was reported there. Let's go. Come on. Her name was Heather, sir. Her name was Heather, Jason. Meantime, tensions rise again in Charlottesville, Virginia, a day after deadly hate-filled violence. Prominent white nationalist Jason Kessler shouted and chased as he blamed police for not controlling groups of demonstrators. And the morning continues. The street where a driver plowed through a crowd is now a memorial. 32-year-old Heather Heyer died Saturday as she protested against those neo-Nazis. The man accused of the car attack will be in court later this morning. The incident was had led to widespread marches for peace and tolerance across the nation. CBS 4's Hannah Doba begins our team coverage. The man suspected of ramming his car into a crowd in Charlottesville, Virginia, is scheduled to appear in court today. 20-year-old James Alex Fields Jr. faces several charges, including second-degree murder. He's accused of killing 32-year-old Heather Heyer and injuring 19 others. Fields, seen here just before the incident, was attending the Unite the Right rally, a white nationalist protest against plans to remove a Confederate statue from a public park. Vigils, rallies, and marches were held across the country yesterday in support of the victims and against hate, from Florida to Chicago, Michigan to Seattle. A mother had to bury their child. In Charlottesville, Marcus Martin, the focus of the picture that captured the moment of the attack, described how he took the hit to potentially save his fiance's life. I hear tires screech. Then I look up and I see people getting thrown in the air. And the only thing I could do was push my fiance out of the way. President Trump faced criticism from both sides of the aisle over the weekend for not strongly condemning white supremacists at the rally. Virginia's governor called on all politicians to take a stand. Tell white supremacists, tell the neo Nazis, right. tell the KKK, tell them all. We've had enough of it. After President Trump's initial response, the White House did issue a more strongly worded statement specifically condemning the extremist groups and calling for national unity. Anadoba, CBS News.